Hi guys, welcome back to OZK TV. If you're new here, thanks for stopping by. Kindly subscribe to our channel. Also, click the notification bell so you get to know each time we upload new content. Watch FFK in action. I'll be right back. What type of stupid question is that? What type of stupid question is that? Bankrolling who? Do you know who you are talking to? Bank, I will not take any questions from this man. What type of insulting question is that? Which, which bankroll? For, to do what? Who can give me money for anything? Who do you think you are talking to? Bankroll what? Go and report yourself to your publisher. Bankroll what? Please don't insult me here. Okay, I don't want to take any questions from this man. Very stu I could see from your face before you got here how stupid you are. Don't ever talk to me like that. Who do you think you are talking to? Bankroll who? You think, you think that I, I, I'm one of those ones you'll be... From who? From how? When? Where? How? You have a small mind. Very small mind. Don't judge me by your own standards. I've been in politics since 1990. I'm not one of these politicians you think will just come. I was taking, I've been locked up how many times by this government? Suffered. I've been persecuted. Unlike most of the politicians you follow for brown envelope. You. Don't, don't ever judge me by that standard. I spend, I don't take. And I'm not a poor man. I've never been and I will never be. Bankroll how? Don't ever suggest that to me. I'm, I'm sorry that was deeply insulting. I don't often get annoyed in press conference. I've been doing this type of thing for many, many years. Don't you ever make that kind of suggestion to me. Bankroll who a former minister, a lawyer, Don't ever try that with me again, no. Don't, please. You see me well. Don't ever. All right? I have a short fuse. Okay? Sorry. Don't. Sorry. Try it with others. Don't. I won't just say right now. I will hit you hard. Don't. And if anybody sent you to ask that question and gave you brand new, go and tell them you got more than they bargained for to do it. Very rude. It's not the standard of daily trust at all. And I will report you to your publisher. Thank you. Any other questions? No, that's okay. Imagine that. Somebody has been on the road for how long? You are coming to talk about that. Very stupid. Wow. That was hot. <laughs> hmm. The guy asked a question. You've been, you've been traveling from state to state, all these things that you, you've been doing. Who bankrolled you? Who, who is picking the bills? That was all. He started, he started ask, asking the word. Let's look at the questions he asked. Let's look at the things he said. What type of stupid question is that? Do you know who you're talking to? I will not take any question from this man. Which bankroll? To do what? Who can give me money for anything? Hmm. I could see from your face before you got here how stupid you are. Can you imagine? Why would anybody talk to someone like that? I could see from your face. Really? Where, how did he see him before he got there? That's terrible. He went further. You have a small mind. Very small mind. Don't judge me by your own standard. I have been in politics since 1990. I'm not one of these politicians. I've been locked up by this government. I've been persecuted more than most of the politicians you follow for brown envelope. I spend. I don't take. I am not a poor man. I have never been, and I will never be. Bankroll who? A former minister? A lawyer? Don't ever try it with me again. Look at me very well. I will hit you hard if you try it again. And if any person sent you to ask that question and gave you brand envelope, go and tell them you got more than they bargained for. You are very rude. Wow. This is terrible. Why, why, why did he speak to the guy like that? He was just doing his job. I mean, you are not the president. You are not a, a governor. You are not a, a, a member of the National Assembly. You, as far as Nigerians are concerned, 
Mr. Femi Fanekayade is not an elected official. He's not elected in any capacity, at least in Nigeria. So he, for him to undertake this um, task or this tour or whatever it is, inspecting projects, somebody should ask a question. Okay, we've seen you. Okay, you've, you've, you've done this. You are doing this. So who is speaking the bills? That was what the guy asked him. I mean, the guy is a journalist. He's just doing his job. Doesn't you know that if you don't want anyone to ask you some questions, probing questions, I mean, stay in your house. If you if you if you become a public person and you come out and you want to do some things, expect some questions. Journalists, they are they they are they act as checks and balances. They don't, they don't act as they are checks and balances on the society. Don't you know the what the press can do? The press is a fourth estate of the realm. You may not call them a political part of a political system, but they wield significant indirect social influence. Do you know who I am? And that's that that thing that do you know who I am? It has destroyed so many relationships. It has caused disaffection amongst people. It's an arrogant expression of one's importance. Who cares who you are? Who cares to know? It's not, it's not nice at all. And we know Mr. Femi Fanekayode now. If you're in Nigeria, you, you, you should know him. Of course. You know he writes. Well, you cannot take it from him. He's an intelligent man, we know. You know he writes. And if he, rem if he remembers you, if he remembers to write about you, just carry a bucket and start crying. Because the things he will tell you, you will want to kill yourself. We know how he writes. We know the things he say. Come on. This guy has a caustic mouth. And he look at what he's telling. Look at the way he insulted these journalists. And why were, they, why were they telling him, sorry, sir, sorry, sir? For what? Why are you sorry for doing your job? Why are you sorry for doing your job? Everybody was just saying, sorry, sir, nothing. For what? You did something and you're, 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 you're sorry for it. For what? It is not nice at all. This is not the way to go. He's not. Although the media is not formally recognized as um, a part of a political system, it wields significant indirect social influence. The media is expected to stimulate citizen deliberation in a democracy and build public understanding of issues. How would the society be without the media? The media is the watchdog. If you do not, if see, if you don't, if you don't like the heat, hey, leave the kitchen. That place is not for you. Journalists do thankless jobs. Look at this COVID nineteen period. No penalty for journalists. Nothing for them. They do this job because of the passion they have for the job. Nothing else. Yet, they are always insulted. Do you know how many journalists that have died during this uh, pandemic in Nigeria and the world over? Yeah, someone someone just comes up to uh, insult them for doing what they should, what, what they're supposed to do. Why do people feel so proud? Who cares to know who you are or what you're doing? Who, who cares? If you don't want anybody to talk to you anyhow, please don't do anything that will warrant it. And if you're dealing with journalists, just know that expect answers. What he could have done was maybe either maybe ignore him or tell him, oh, is my I'm using I'm using my funds. I'm, I'm I bankrolled it. Do you have a problem with that? The guy will just sit down. Okay? Not talk to him as if he, he, he is a nobody. It's not it's not nice. It's not although he later apologize, but that's not even the question. Why talk to him in that manner? You use all that time just to attack one person. Where are we going with all this? Even if you are, you are, you are whatever you are, you are, you are, you, are, you, are, you were a former minister of aviation. We are in the past. We are talking about now. No matter what it is, he would have at least answered the guy politely. Do you know who I am? That is what is 
keeping this Manchester United captain there in Greece now, answering some questions. He is being prosecuted. Telling a policeman, do you know who I am? Yes, I'm talking of, of uh, Harry Maguire. Do you know who I am? I am the captain of Manchester United. I am very rich. I can give you money. I can pay you. I mean, what's that? Why do people feel so important? We don't need all these things. People should comport themselves well. Mr. Fanica ought to know that I'm sure he has some fans. There are people that look up to him for some things. He shouldn't have talked to someone like that. In the open. And he knew it was a press conference. He didn't even care. Threatening the guy that he would report him. He would report him to his em employers. For what? So that they will sack him? So that he will lose his job? In this terrible time, he will lose his job. But I like what his... Um, what Daily Trust did. They said, we stand by Charles. That's the name of the journalist. We stand by Charles and commend him for his calmness during the ordeal. They went further. As always, we stand in solidarity with our reporters and we continue to fight for the rights of all journalists. After all, journalism is part of the bedrock of democracy. Therefore, practitioners must not be intimidated or threatened as they carry out their work. That is it. Well, please, don't have a, a high opinion of yourself, no matter what. Talk to people as human beings. Relate with people the way they should be related with. The world is not about one person, no matter who you are, no matter the amount of money you have, no matter how wealthy you are. Please, respect others. They have their own rights too. Respect other people the way you want to be respected. Well, that is it for today. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, kindly give it a thumbs up. And thanks for watching. I hope you have subscribed. Please subscribe to this channel. We need your support. Well... Until we see you in the next video, thanks for watching. Bye.